impact of the winter weather is the winter blues. It's a major problem this time of year. New Sense Patsy Kelly introduces us to one woman struggling to smile in these blue conditions. It's called seasonal affective disorder. For Rhonda Banner, it starts about the end of November. I just get to the point where I have no energy. All I want to do is sleep. Sad is a type of depression. It happens at a certain time of year, usually winter. Some of you know it as the winter blues or cabin fever, but it's a very real disorder with very real symptoms. Those suffering usually feel depressed, anxious, and tired. It normally hits around this time of year, and I just go into the winter blues, and I, I don't have any energy. Um, I just get severely depressed. Banner sees a direct skills technician, a therapist who is a support system when she feels the worst. She, um, she makes sure that I'm getting up, getting motivated, doing something around the house. Um, talks to me if I need someone to talk to. To get through these frozen months, Banner has a list of ideas to keep herself occupied. The first, a sun lamp. The more sunlight we can get, the better. So. Um, I actually have a sun lamp in the bedroom that I sit under um, when I get really depressed. Doctors say find ways to expose yourself to light. Local tanning businesses told us this is a busy time of year for them. I try to sit under it at least an hour a day or an hour a night um, and that seems to help a lot. Her furry little companions also ward off a depressed mood. Doctors also say stay active. Exercise is another big help for Banner as well as occupying her time. Exercise, I have a treadmill, um, read, do Sudoku, I love Sudoku, I love cryptograms. Beating those winter blues into submission is an everyday task for Banner, and one she says she couldn't do without her family and friends. It's always nice to have someone to talk to. I don't think they would help as much if I didn't have my support system. In Jasonville, Patsy Kelly, News 10.